this is the last part of this section. In this section, we are going to learn about feature scaling. This is one of the very important topics that you should be knowing in feature engineering. Again, this is one more technique of feature engineering. So let's start with feature scaling. From the name itself, you might have known that what we exactly mean by feature scaling. Feature scaling is the features, what I have told you before that columns are referred to as features. Just noted out somewhere that always columns in machine learning are known as features. And rows are mostly known as data points. So we need to scale our data. Let's say you are in a situation where most of the data, 90-95% of your data is in the range of somewhere between 10 to 50, but the less than 10% of your data is, which is a real data, which is not an outlier. So the real data less than 10% of your data is in the range of uh, 100 to 150. So this completely affects your machine learning model. Not all algorithms are affected by feature scaling. So not in all algorithms, you don't need to scale your features, but it's a very good practice to scale up your features. Most of the algorithms are affected by or are very sensitive to this. So some machine learning algorithms are sensitive to feature scaling, while others are mostly no. Feature scaling is a technique to standardize the independent features present in data in a fixed range. It is performed during the data pre-processing to handle highly varying magnitudes or values or units. If feature scaling is not done, then a machine learning algorithm tends to weigh greater values, higher and consider smaller values as the lower value, regardless of the unit of the values. Let's take one quick example of it. If an algorithm is not using feature scaling method and it can consider the value 3000 meter to be greater than 5 kilometer, but that's actually not true. And in that case, the algorithm will give wrong prediction. So we use feature scaling to bring all the values to the same magnitude. And thus to tackle this issue, we have two formulas that is two important uh, functions that we actually use out to feature scale. That is one is normalization and the other is standardization. So let's start with normalization. Normalization is a scaling technique in which values are shifted and rescale so that they end up in the range of 0 to 1. Okay. It is also known as min-max scaling. So when we are actually calling out from the SQLN library, we will be calling out the min-max scaling. Whenever we are referring to min-max scaling, it is referred to as normalization. So the formula of it is quite similar. So if you have gone through the statistics course, you have to have been known very much in deep about all of these. As of this video, we are not going to go much deeper into this, but more of an overview into this. So this is the data point X and this is the minimum in that column. So this is in data point in that, let's say minimum, min data point in that feature. I hope all of these make sense. Uh, and below that we have x max minus x min. So this is the minimum and this is the maximum. So in a column, let's say we have 2, 3, 5, 1 and 10. So this is x max. So let's say we are in the next second data point. So x new will be 2 minus whatever the minimum is, then 10 minus and whatever the minimum is. So 1 by 9. So 1 by 9 is quite 0 point something. So that is the scale of it. So it will be in the range of 0 to 1. So your R belongs to the range of 0 and 1. Okay. Let's look into a graphical example. So let's say your data looks something like this. So this is a graph and in this, let's say these are the data points. So these are the data points of some columns and some features. So one, two, three, 
and 4. Let's take this to the scale of 4, 3, 4. And when you actually normalize it, that is normalize, let's write it out. Normalize. What happens is this graph changes to something like this. So all of these will become in the range of 0 to 1 and the points are in this range. Now in various, various equations or various algorithms it actually has been seen that it fasten up the generalization process mostly in neural network if you not scale the process it will take a lot of time read and reason will take a lot of time to reach at the optimal value now if i'm not making sense just don't worry about it all of these keywords you will be learning once we move into neural network but as of now the takeaway from this is what normalization does is it will keep all the data points so whatever data points we are having in the range of let's say 1 to 999 it will change that the range from 0 to 1 so all the values which ranges from 1 to 999 it now ranges between 0 to 9 so it changes the range of it that is what I mean by normalization this technique rescales a feature or observation value with distribution value between 0 and 1 the next technique is standardization. Standardization is another scaling technique where the values are centered around the mean with the unit standard deviation. Xi again, the formula over here, Xi again, it's quite similar. I is the data point. So let's say in row number of two, uh, row number two, we have this value. So it will be X2 for the row value two. Now X mean is the mean of the feature complete feature so we have something like this so again one two three five six these are some of the points we are in row number two so it will be two minus whatever the mean is so uh, the mean is i guess 17 17 divided by five let's take the mean 15 as of now let's minus something uh, so let's take this as again at 3 okay that works 3 3 6 yeah so 15 5 is 3 again 2 minus 3 and whatever the standard deviation is for this the standard deviation will be quite less so let's take in points so whatever the standard deviation is we will be just dividing out let's keep it 1 so it is equal to minus 1 so that's how standardization works Let's look into the graphical aspect of it. So we have a graph again of some different places. We have these values and what this will do is so your values will be lying somewhere between this and this. So these are the points. These points are over there. So they are between this, the mean. So if you read the definition of it, this means that the mean of the attribute becomes zero and the resultant distribution has standard deviation. So all the values will be around the mean which is currently zero. So all the values lies in this scale, uh, which helps us again. The standardization process generalizes the machine learning algorithm faster. You get faster answers. So let's jump into a Jupyter notebook to get some hands on view into this. Again, one takeaway from this is just remember these formulas. These two formulas are quite important and most of the times people do ask you in your interviews. So standardization is also known as J-score normalization. So this is the tact, one of the ways that we learn in statistics. One of the things that you should be remembering that machine learning is nothing but statistics, a bit of coding and mostly calculus. So these three things constitute and creates machine learning. That's it for this video. In our next video, we are going to start with hands-on view on standardization and normalization.